For millennia, the fertile Nile Delta has been the breadbasket of Egypt. And for more than 1,000 years, the Arabic does have sailed up and down the Nile with goods from the Delta. Covering some 20,000 square kilometers along the Mediterranean Sea, it is crucial to the survival of millions of people. Within the next 40 years, the rise in sea level due to climate change might inundate the delta with saline seawater, spoiling immeasurable areas of agricultural land and freshwater supplies, leaving a devastating effect on the Egyptians. Where the mighty Nile ends its journey half the length of Africa, it slows down and widens and forms a vast delta where fishermen have lived for thousands of years where farmers have always irrigated their land with plentiful water. Now, that's changing. The Nile Delta is still a place of amazing beauty, but for the fishermen and farmers who live here, it's increasingly difficult to survive in an environment which is deteriorating. This used to be rich farmland. It's been destroyed by salinity, salt, as the sea level rises in the nearby Mediterranean, salt water infiltrates the soil from below. This man is an expert on underwater engineering. He says Egypt cannot afford to lose this land. It is a human disaster, an economical disaster, an agricultural disaster, and maybe it will lead not only to poverty, but also to hunger. You're going to induce what I call global warming or climate refugees, a new term, climate refugees, is a new term in our, in our uh, human culture, climate refugees. People will have to leave this land if we don't protect it. Egypt is trying to protect its coastline, but if the Mediterranean does rise one meter this century, as many experts predict, cities like Alexandria will be in trouble. Some scientists believe the sea rise will be gradual, that Egypt will have time to adapt. But if the delta is dying, it's the poor people who rely on this environment, the farmers and fishermen, who will pay the highest price. But there is still time to save the ancient land of the pharaohs.